the Philadelphia Eagles were, uh, you know, essentially three points away from uh, winning the Super Bowl, potentially, uh, maybe a holding call away from winning the Super Bowl, potentially. And now they're in a spot where what I lost some free agents have a chance to get a lot better through the draft, a lot of draft capital. So what should they do to get over the hump and not just be a team that made the Super Bowl, but a team that can win it? Well, let's get into it. Let's do the uh, three round mock draft for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, so not going to do any pre-draft trades. Let's see where they're at picks 10. So just to see what happened before this, four quarterbacks did get taken off the board along with Willie Anderson, Jalen Carter, Tyree Wilson, Christian Gonzalez, and Peter Skaronski. Uh Pick number 10 for me is an interesting one. There's several guys I wouldn't hate. I wouldn't ha hate Jackson Smith and Jigba here. Someone who could kind of complete that receiving core, be a good third option, would actually be very fascinating. Wouldn't hate uh, Quentin Johnson, although I think that they have guys who can do what he can do. Uh, Devin Witherspoon is someone who could be kind of, once one of those older corners doesn't play well anymore, now you have Witherspoon. However, for me, I think the pick is Kalijah Cansey, a guy who's, a, I think, really would fit that team well. As a guy who can just be an interior pass rusher from the inside, that's all they would ask him to do. I think he could be great at that. And I would actually love that as a fit. So uh, definitely someone that I would be very fascinated in. Now, here's another thing that's interesting. So for me, Osiris Torrance, I think, would have been my pick at number 30. But he's off the board. So this is the draft. Sometimes you have a fit that you love. And now he's gone, which definitely could happen. So do you maybe want to go after a wide receiver that could fit? Well, probably not because the wide receivers are off the board too. Uh, even uh, B. John Robinson, where this might have been a, a chance, on take, might have had an opportunity to take him there. Don't love that because he's off the board. So you can't do that anymore. So now what is the move? Do you just go best player available? The answer might be yes. You might just say, okay, who do I like the most? For me, Emmanuel Forbes might be that guy uh, who, again, do they need a corner? No, they don't. And they're trying to be competitive now. So maybe do you trade this pick? Is this a trade option? Do you uh, look at it and say, okay, let's try to, you know, trade back and get more picks? I don't know if you need to trade back, though. I think that realistically, I would consider maybe just trading in general to get like, a, you know, an actual player. But not doing that. Let's just draft a player. Uh, to me, I'm. I think I'm gonna go. With, is it crazy to go with Dewan Jones here? Like, like, listen, it's not like they need a, a tackle right now, but they could use an offensive lineman of some sort. And now, how do you how do you make it work? Right? I know that the the offensive line guys watching this channel are gonna say, "What are you doing? Why are you know you gotta get a if you need a guard, you gotta draft the guard kind of thing." Well, Cyrus Torrance is gone. So what do you do here? Jordan Mailata and Lane Johnson are your tackles. That's it. Uh, end of conversation. And, you know, Landon Dickerson and Jason Kelsey are two of your three interior offensive linemen. But, uh, you know, uh, I think with, with this selection, you go out and you draft uh, Dewan Jones. Could he be someone who could fill up, uh, you know, could he play guard? Potentially, he'd be, be a very big guard, but could it work? Why not? Maybe it could. And if it does, now you have five good offensive linemen. And I wouldn't love drafting a guard, uh, you know, at any other point than that. So, now we're in a situation with the Eagles. We are back at pick uh, 62. Are there any linebackers that are on the board potentially? Let's you know, we can check that out. That might have actually been a pick to do earlier. Don't love this uh, at this spot. No, there's no linebackers to go after. That's that's not a question. Not doing that. So now where do you go? Um, do you go after uh, Tuli uh, Tualopo? Uh, Got to learn how to say his name because I keep drafting him in some of these drafts. You could, I mean, again, they have Brandon Graham, Hassan Reddick, and Josh Sweat. They don't need another in, uh, edge rusher, but they do love their edge rusher. They love to use so many different guys. It wouldn't be a crazy pick, especially one, again, I don't love this spot in the draft. I don't love round two. I think this, it's, it's, it's a weak uh, pick here. Maybe you could go running back here, but it's a little early for running back for me. So I'll, I'll go there, uh, and we'll see how that works. And then finally, uh, for pick 94, which I believe is the last one, that, yeah, last one that I will have in this mock draft, just doing three rounds. Um, you know, uh, what are the receiving options like? You have, you know, Nathaniel Dell, which, listen, I'm not a huge Nathaniel Dell guy, but maybe for this spot, it, it makes sense to get a get a third option and hope that he can work it out. So I'll do that. Good, good value at 94. So what is my grade going to be? I'm guessing A+. Plus. I think I knocked it out of the park. I think I did great here. What is uh, PFF? Give my grade. Uh, they gave it a minus. Oh, come on. They didn't love the Dewan Jones pick. I, I get it. I get it because they don't need a tackle. Uh, but I'm not drafting him to play tackle. I'm drafting him, hopefully, to play guard. And we'll figure that out. I don't know if that could work. I'd have to talk about it. But 
you know, Clyde Jacancy pick, uh, I like a lot. I think that would really work, getting him at number 10. That would fit it perfectly. Uh, to be honest, I don't love the Thule pick at 62, but again, I don't love any pick at 62. There's no player that I feel like is worth a 62 overall pick, really, uh, that's going to be there at 62. So, got to work with what you have. Then thing Odell pick, they gave it an A+, and I agree. I think if he falls that far, that would be a great pick. So, yeah, that is my Eagles mock draft. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from me up. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.